So next on the list of advanced techniques is your trigonometric substitution. So um, in this topic, it's still the elimination of the radical expression, the same as what we have encountered before in the algebraic substitution. But what's uh, pretty unique with this technique is that um, you can relate this one to your inverse trigonometric functions. So for example, um, you are given an, an equation wherein you'd, you'd, um, you cannot meet the specific format of the specific inverse trigonometric function. <clears throat> so again, recalling the three different um, formats for your inverse trigonometric function. So for arc sine, you have the square root of Use uh, a squared rather minus u squared divided. This gives us the arc sine function. Then the next one is the arc tangent, which is in this format a squared plus u squared du. <clears throat> and lastly, for arc second, that would be <clears throat> uh, du all over u times u squared minus a squared. So again, for this particular technique, if you're going to, let's say, try to achieve the format of your inverse trigonal functions, but fail to do so, this is where this technique comes in. So for example, so for example, let's say you have here, um, let's say the example is the integral of, um, let's say, x du, let's say x squared du, all over x squared uh, minus 4, diba. Right? So if you can see in the given um, expression, it's almost the same as the inverse arc sine format. But we have a lacking u parameter in the given equation, diba. Right? We don't have this one. And um, Aside from the locking variable outside the radical expression, we have an extra x squared term in the numerator. So it's almost completely near the format of your inverse trigonometric formulas, but <clears throat> So what you need to do next is um, we have to use another technique or advanced technique, which is your trigonometric substitution. So in this particular technique, we are just going to look into three specific details in the integrand. Dapat, you have to look for these expressions. So again, um, these three are just similar to your inverse trigonometric functions. So notice that the first one can be found in your arc sign, in the format. And also take note that its corresponding trigonometric substitution is also in the format of the sine function. So the next one is the square root of a squared plus u squared. So as you can see, or as you can compare it with the inverse trigo formula. So we have a squared plus u squared, but it doesn't just have the, it doesn't have the radical expression, okay? So its corresponding trigonometric substitution is this one. So still in tangent, but not inverse tangent. And lastly is this one, u squared plus minus a squared. So we have it here, diba. Right? <clears throat> and again, it's, it's still second, but it's not inverse, diba. Right? So this is where the technique comes in. So again, if ever you're not going to achieve the format for your inverse trigonometric functions, so you have to do this method, trigonometric substitution. Okay. So again, um, for us to be able to appreciate this one, so just try to memorize this one later. But most likely you can just memorize this easily because Again, they are similar to the formulas for inverse um, trigonometric equations. So, dilan siya inverse, diba? Okay, so let's try to solve six different examples. 
and again if you notice the different equations presented so most of it are nearly the same format as your um, inverse triangle functions probably except for number three since the radical expression is in the numerator diba? so most of them are in the denominator okay so for example this one is a squared minus u squared but you have an extra x squared term here diba? so marag na napasubra ang inyong format a squared plus u squared so cannot be inverse tangent because dagang kayo extra terms diba and then your a squared plus u squared is being put inside the radical expression so samot na ni diba number 3 nasa numerator ang inyong u squared minus a squared so a squared so still the same as number 2 this one is almost the same as the arc sign but x squared lang diba it's not just it's not x lang. So if it's x square root of x squared minus 4, so probably it may be arc sine function. But it's not following the format, diba? So especially number 6, wherein you have this one, diba? To the power of 3 halves. So samot kalabad ang o. Mung saan siya pag solve. Okay? So let's try to answer each problem as we try to understand how we're going to apply the steps in trigonometric substitution. So let's go to number one. So to start off, the first step would always be to identify what particular format you are having in your equation. So this one is constant minus variable. So we can say that this one is in the format of a squared minus u squared. And again, this formula is giving us the trig sub, which is u equals a sine theta. Okay. So again, declaring variables, we have a squared as 16. And then u squared as x squared so getting the square root you have 4 and then u is equal to x so next step is we don't want to um, derive from here diba? we don't derive from this variable but after the, uh, declaring such variables we use the formula diba? we are um, substituting um, u equals a sine theta. So next is to use the formula. So don't erase palika. <clears throat> so again, we don't want to derive from here because we are given another format for the u parameter. So the purpose of um, having a squared, a u squared, and u is for us to be able to plug it in in the formula. So next is x equals 4 sine theta. So this is where you're going to plug in the values that you have generated. Okay. So from the trig substitution equation or formula, this is where you take the derivative. So dx equals 4 cosine theta d theta. Okay, so first step is done, second step is done. The third step is we're going to utilize the formula by isolating the trigo function. So meaning isolation of trigo function, meaning the trigo function is on one side and then the other side are the constant and the variables. So this means it's... Divide everything by 4, so you now have sine theta is equal to x all over 4. So after declaring or after isolating your trigo function, what you need to do next is you have to create a right triangle. Right triangle, and then let's say this one is our angle theta. So again, from 
the given expression above sine theta equals x over 4. So by basic definition of the sine function, this is uh, sine is opposite over the hypotenuse. So opposite side of x is this, uh, rather opposite side of theta is this one. Hypotenuse is this one. Okay. So solving the other leg by means of Pythagorean theorem, that would be um, hypotenuse squared minus the square of the leg. So that would be the square root of 16 minus x squared. So why do we need to do such method, um, drop a tag, triangle and all? So the purpose of which is for us to be able to um, sub substitute the value of the square root of 16 minus x squared. So again, if you try to follow the different items in the given equation, so dx can be replaced by this dx, diba? The x variable can be replaced by this um, expression. But for square root of 16x x squared, so we still have to look for such specific value na uh, ato pang isolve, di ba? Walang pata na kaagiana throughout our, let's say, declaration of the different variables and by the usage of the formula. So walang pata na ka-encounter ana. So that's the purpose of having this triangle. So um, we utilize the formula again by isolating the triangle function and then creating the right triangle and then letting it um, being defined by the terms being set by the trig function. So since this one is sine function, so that would be sine is equal to opposite side over the hypotenuse. So this one is opposite side and then hypotenuse. And then we look for the unknown leg of the right triangle, which in this case, it really reflects what is given in the equation. Diba? Square root of 16 minus x squared is the same as the given expression above. Okay, so next step is since we already be able to, we already have determined the square root function in this right triangle. So next step is we need to pair or come up with a triangle function wherein the radical, excuse me, wherein the radical expression is being paired with the constant term. Okay. So in this case, what particular triangle function can you create if you want to express both terms? Diba? So this one is adjacent the theta angle. This one is the hypotenuse. Diba? So we can use cosine. Diba? So always pair the radical expression and the constant. So we don't want to um, you don't want to pair it up with another variable because again, as going back to the dx and x uh, variable replacement, so we can see that all are in sine theta, 4 sine theta, dx is 4 cosine theta, d theta, so we don't want any other variable aside from theta. So using cosine, so cosine Theta is equal to, again, adjacent side all over the hypotenuse. So, katoa, di ba? 16 minus x squared divided by 4. Okay? So, isolating your 4, uh, rather your radical expression, so this gives us 4 cosine theta is equal to the square root of 16 minus x squared. And notice that we can replace your six, uh, square root of 16 x squared with this term. 4 cosine theta. So again, notice 4 cosine theta, or rather 4 sine theta, 4 cosine theta d theta, 4 cosine theta. So all are in now 
in theta variable. So now with the next step, we go to the substitution method. So starting with dx first, so this is 4 cosine theta d theta divided by x squared. So the value of x is 4 sine theta squared. <clears throat> and then square root of 16 minus x squared is just um, 4 cosine theta. So notice that we can cancel out 4 cosine theta, cancel out 4 cosine theta, and this would leave us with the integral of d theta all over 16 sine squared theta. <clears throat> okay, so we can take 1 over 16 outside. So 1 over sine squared theta, we can express this one as another format. <clears throat> and we can express this one as cosecant squared theta d theta. So again, remember that 1 over sine theta is equal to cosecant theta. So of course, by means of formula, we, we do have value for this particular integral, right? And it is so negative now. So it becomes negative because the integral of cosecant squared theta is cotangent theta. So cotangent theta plus c. So is this the final answer? So it's not yet the final answer. We need to bring back the value of cotangent back in the equation. So where do we get cotangent? So we go back to the right triangle and define what is cotangent theta. So looking at the triangle, so cotangent theta, so by means of definition, so cotangent, so that's the opposite of tangent function. So tangent is tau, diba? Tao. Um, adjacent over the opposite side. So since it's now cotangent, so we reverse it. So it's um, opposite side, or uh, rather, baliday, towa manina, no? So katowa, so opposite side over adjacent. So ang cotangent would be the reverse of it. So it would be adjacent side all over the hypotenuse. So adjacent side is this one. Adjacent of theta over the opposite side, x. So meaning this is square root of 16 minus x squared <coughs> all over x. Okay. So going, uh, so replacing cotangent theta, so we now have negative 1 over 16 multiplied by square root of 16 minus x squared all over x plus C. Okay, so the answer would be um, negative square root of 16 minus x squared all over 16x plus C. So this would be your final answer. So any questions for number one? So again, if we try to um, indicate the steps that we have determined uh, that we have done, so this would be step number one. And you're going to identify what particular trigo substitution equation are you going to use. Next is you use the formula and then take the derivative. Next is you isolate the trigo function using the formula and then creating the right triangle. Step number three. Step number four would be to pair up the constant and the 
radical expression, leaving you with a trigo function that relates the two um, terms. So this would be step number four. Step number five would be the substitution method. So integration. And then lastly, steps number six. Step number six is the identity or is the bringing back of the value in the equation. So Pitiragani Kotob step number five, diba? Then the rest you can just follow through. All right. So questions. Okay, so no question. So let's proceed with sample number two. So again, try to identify what type of um, expression you're having in the equation. So integral of dx all over x times square root of 9 plus x squared. So this one is a squared plus u squared. And then the formula you're going to utilize is u equals a tangent theta. Okay, so a squared is 9, a is 3, u is x squared, u is equal to x. And then use the formula, diba? So this would give us x equals 3 tangent theta. And getting the derivative, we have 3 second squared theta d theta. Next step would be to, again, isolate the equation. So this would give us tangent theta is equal to x all over 3 and then creating the right triangle afterwards create the right triangle and then identify the different parts of the tangent function so opposite side all over the adjacent side so meaning our hypotenuse is 9 plus x squared <coughs> So next step is we relate the radical expression with a given constant. <coughs> so this one is um, cosine function. Cosine theta is equal to adjacent side all over the hypotenuse, 9 plus x squared. So this would give us the square root of 9 plus x squared is equal to 3 all over cosine theta. Or in other words, the, uh, this would be 3 second theta. So I so I changed it into second because um, I see a second in the dx term. So probably that would be useful later on in the simplification process. All right, so step number five. So, balik balik judicia, diba? Balik balik judicia. So, again, if we try to identify the different parts, dx would be this one, x would be this one, and then square root of 9 plus okay. So next step is to substitute the different terms. So starting off with dx, so this one is 3 second squared theta, d theta, divided by x, which is 3 tangent theta, and then square root of 9 plus x squared, that would be 3 second theta. All right? <clears throat> So cancel out 3, 
cancel out one second, cancel out second the denominator. So this would leave us with one third. So I took one third outside the equation because it's a constant. And then what is left is just <clears throat> So what's left is <clears throat> uh, second theta, d theta, all over tangent theta. So to simplify this one further is that we go we're going to divide this one for us to be able to understand this um, in a more refined manner. So second is 1 all over cosine theta, so d theta. Then tangent is sine theta all over cosine theta. So cancel out cosine. Then you have here one third integral of d theta all over sine theta. And this would give you one third integral of cosecant theta. So if you have memorized the formula, the answer would be one third ln of cosecant theta minus cotangent theta plus c. So again, we have to declare cosecant and cotangent. So cosecant theta. So again, looking at the triangle, cosecant is hypotenuse over the opposite side. So this would give us 9 plus x squared all over x. Cotangent, on the other hand, that would give us the adjacent side all over the opposite side, which is 3 all over x. So the final answer would be one third ln of. So I'm just going to kind of combine on this okay, para to save some space. So minus three all over x. So I combine them because they are having the same denominator, which is x. Okay. <clears throat> ah, nara, nara, nara. Kanina, kanina 3 yung sabot. So, muna siya for number 2. So, if, again, if we try to took down our steps, 1, 2, and then 3. So 3 is together ni siya. Isolation of the tangent function sa formula. And then creating the right triangle. Then fourth step is the pairing up of the radical expression with the given constant and getting a specific trigo function for the the pair up so fifth and then lastly is sixth <clears throat> okay so question uh u squared equals x squared as a pit how can you squared and u squared <clears throat> okay, so any other question? Okay, so I think there's none. Na. <clears throat> so ako lang siyang ginana, ako lang siyang gi-colorful kay para makakuan mo, maka-track down mo sa kuan ba. Different elements. Okay, so this time is we have number 3 na sad. <clears throat> 
So upon looking at the equation, so it's a completely different version of the inverse, diba? Inverse triangle function. So not in all cases that you're going to look for the similar format of the inverse triangle function, but as long as this one is present in your equation, so you're going to do u sub for the, your technique. Okay, so integral of square root of x squared minus 25 divided by x dx. So again, the given equation now is variable minus constant. So u squared minus a squared. And this would give us the formula or the trigo sub formula, which is u equals a second theta. So again, u squared is x squared u is equal to x, a squared is 25, a is equal to 5, okay? So again, we now use the formula, which is 5, uh, rather x equals 5 second theta. Second, secant, it, it, it depends on how you pronounce it. So I think the correct way is secant. So getting the derivative, dx is equal to 5 second theta. So derivative of second is sectan, diba? And then d theta. So again, third step is to isolate the second function second theta is equal to x all over 5 and then you write or you draw the right triangle theta so second is um opposite of cosine right? so cosine is um, adjacent side all over the hypotenuse so in in second it's the reverse so it's hypotenuse first divided by the adjacent side so this should be x, this should be 5. Hypotenuse over the adjacent side. And this should be the unknown leg. By means of Pythagorean theorem, this would give us x squared minus 25. So again, for you to verify that your um, illustration is correct, um, upon solving for the unknown leg, it should be the same as the given equation above. Kanisha. So x squared minus 25, it's the same. Okay, so we again pair this one up. Radical and constant. So this would give us tangent function. Right? Tangent theta is equal to the square root of x squared minus 25 all over 5. And this would result to 5 tangent theta equals square root of x squared minus 25. Okay, so again, this one becomes 5 tangent theta. dx, on the other hand, um, becomes this term here. x is this term here. Alright, so with next fifth step would be to substitute and then to solve it, simplify and solve it. So numerator is now 5 tangent theta divided by x, that would be 5 second theta. d theta on the other hand would be 5 second theta tangent theta d theta. So cancel out 5, right? 5 and then 5. Cancel out 2nd, cancel out 2nd. So this would leave you with 5 tangent squared theta d theta. <clears throat> So 
So question is, is there a formula for integral of tangent squared? So wala, di ba? So you only have second squared which would give us tangent theta or integral of second theta tangent theta would give us second theta. But there's no such formula for tangent squared theta. So in this case, <clears throat> try to recall the lesson on transformation by trigonometric functions. So as far as you can remember, this one is type P. So probably it's case number two, but it's type B, okay? it's tangent man. So probably type uh, case number two since the exponent is um, the exponent is even or case number one, Anna. Okay, so as per the, the type or the case that this one is having, so what you need to do is apply the case. So in this uh, manner, we are going to replace it with this term. Second square theta minus 1 d theta. So I'm not going to go into details on how nano second square theta nisha because I have already discussed this one in the previous topics. So just try to recall but this one is type P. <clears throat> okay, so now distribute for us to clearly define the integrals. Pasensya kayo sa akong kuwana kay Sukad pa ni 7 o'clock akong 6 to rin yan. 7.30 a.m. rather. So, second square theta minus 5 integral of d theta. So, this time we now have the formula for each, di ba? It's just a basic concept. So, this would give us 5 tangent theta. Then the other one will give us 5 theta. And then plus C. <clears throat> okay, so next step is to identify the theta functions. So 5 tangent theta. So luckily we have 5 tangent theta here, diba? which means we can directly substitute this one in this uh, term. Automatic siya nga x squared minus 25. So again, if it's not, um, if the variable is not found previously on your um, computation or in your process of getting the final answer, so you just have to write it again, di ba? Katong same as the previous example. Nga atong, uh, sa katong first two examples nga atong gisolve. So this time is theta. So our question is, where do we get theta? So for example, it's not tangent theta, not second theta, but it's only theta. So where do we get theta? So we get theta from the formula. Okay, so this one is the formula, right? So we just have to get the inverse function for us to isolate theta. So this would give us theta is equal to arc second x over 5. So nanatay theta. So if you have a given theta in your um, answer, so always refer to the formula. Always refer it to the formula. Okay, so the final answer would be square root of x minus 25 minus 5 arc second x over 5 plus c. Okay, so again, you cannot cancel out 5 with the 5 angle, ha? Ang kaning 5 there, you cannot cancel it out here because 
x over 5 is the angle of the arc second. Diba? So, for example, mag-plug in mo sa calculator. Um, let's say um, 30 and then sine then ang butang mo 3 o 150 over 30. So, is it equal to sine 150? Kaya inyo yung i-cancel ang 30 og 30? Di ba? Dili, di ba? So, never cancel the coefficient with the angle of the function, with the trigo function. Alright, so any questions for this item? So just let me write the numbers for the steps for you to be guided. And then number four, five, and then six. All right, so question. Okay, so no question. So we proceed with number four. So um, as we progress with example, so you can observe that the process is pretty repetitive, diba? Right? Okay, so we have the integral of dx divided by x square root of 4x squared plus 9. Okay, so question. Ah, see. <coughs> Okay, so moving on with number four. So you, again, balik balik, di ba? So this would be the square root of u squared plus a squared. So you notice that balik siya, di ba? But this, this, the, this one is still equal to the square root of a squared plus u squared. <coughs> Okay, diba? It's commutative property of addition. So we have to utilize the formula of tangent again. So u is equal to, so ako lang isave ang space. Ha? <coughs> so this one is, um, u equals a tangent theta. Alright, so you have here u squared. u squared equals 4x squared. u is now 2x. a squared is 9. And then a is equal to 3. So again, using the formula, we now have it as 2x is equal to 3 tangent theta. So before we try to derive this one, so you have to isolate the variable x first. So divide everything by 2. So this now becomes 2 thirds, or rather 3 over 2. So ito lang ko na para limpio ang one. So 3 over 2, or 3 halves, tangent theta. <clears throat> so dx now is equal to 3 halves second squared theta, d theta. And then isolating again the tangent function. So we now have tangent theta is equal to 2x all over 
then right or draw the triangle so 2x then this one is 3 so hypotenuse would be the square of the sum of the square of the two legs so 4x squared plus 9 okay then pair this one with the constant next step so another technique here if is that in the first three steps <clears throat> so i can see that i'm having tangent tangent and then second square diba so para ako ang mga functions in terms of those terms so probably in my next step i'll try to make it as much as possible that i'm going to have tangent or second function so in this case since this one is um, cosine diba adjacent over hypotenuse so instead of using cosine i'm going to use second para second siya dito diba so second theta is hypotenuse over adjacent side and probably this technique would save you some lines in your calculation because you're not going to go through the cosine anymore magbalibali pa mo sa cosine okay so you have here 3 second theta is equal to the square root of 4x squared plus 9 <coughs> All right. So this time is we can now um, have the substitution part, the fifth step. So starting off with dx. So dx is three halves second squared theta d theta. Then divided by x, which is 3 halves uh, tangent theta. And then lastly would be the, <coughs> the square root function, which gives us 3 second theta. So cancel out 1 second, cancel out 3 halves, cancel out the second in the denominator. What's left is... Um, second theta d theta all over 3 tangent theta so again I think this one is similar to number 2 so one third <coughs> so second is 1 over cosine theta d theta divided by sine theta over cosine theta so cancel out cosine theta this would give us one third integral of d theta over sine theta or this is one third integral of cosecant theta d theta <coughs> So integral again is one third ln of cosecant theta minus cotangent theta plus c. So again, um, cosecant theta is equal to again that would be hypotenuse all over the opposite side so this is equal to 4x squared plus 9 all over 2x and then for cotangent theta that would be adjacent side all over the opposite side 3 over 2x okay so next and final answer would be ln so again i'll just try to combine this one since there's no more space so this is square root of 4x squared plus 9 minus 3 all over 2x and then plus c
Okay, so I'm not going to write any more the steps, but para malimpi-limpi sila ito ang kuhan, di ba? Ang ito ang solution. So that's how you do it if wala ka ng too much arrows and mga kuhan. So of course, you can write your answer in colored pens or the process para inyong ma-distinguish ang different parts, di ba? Okay, so any questions for number four? Okay, so there's no question. So we proceed with number five. So we have here the integral of dx all over x squared times the square root of x minus 4. So again, observing the expression, so you cannot achieve arc sine function because you have x squared on the outside of the radical expression. So instead, we go to trig sub. So this one is the square root of u squared minus a squared, which would give us the arc uh, it's not the arc second. So which will give us u equals a second theta. So u squared is equal to x squared. u is equal to x. a squared is 4. a is 2 and then utilize the formula. So this will give us x equals 2 second theta. Then getting the derivative, we have dx equals 2 second theta tangent theta d theta. Again, utilize again the formula by isolating the trigonometric function second so this would give us second theta all over x over 2. And then you write the triangle. Or rather draw. So second is hypotenuse all over the adjacent side. So x and then this one is 2. So the other leg would be x squared minus 4. So pair this one up, pair with a constant look for a um, equation or a triangle function that would pair this one up. So again, as I notice, I have second tangent second in my um, previous lines. So probably I am expecting to have tangent or second. So since this one is just the opposite of, of the other, diba, puro siya legs, so tangent. Tangent theta is equal to the square root of x squared minus 4 all over 2. And this will give us 2 tangent theta is equal to the square root of x squared minus 4. So, dalian lang kayo siya, no? If magsige nagbalik-balik ba? Okay, so dx first is you have 2 second theta, tangent theta, d theta, divided by the denominator x squared. So x is 2 second theta squared. And then the triangle function would give us, I mean the radical expression would give us 2 tangent theta. So cancel out 2. So I'm going to cancel out 2 on the other term because ang kaning 2 dili sa first one term sa denominator is na siya squared, di ba? So basin maglibog nyo or ma, ma misinterpret nyo later on na dapat squared siya, di ba? So cancel out tangent, cancel out tangent, and then cancel out 1 second, cancel out 1 second here, which would give us only 1 second in the denominator. So the answer would be integral of d theta 
all over 4 secant theta. And this simplifies further into integral of cosine theta d theta. So again, it's cosine because 1 divided by second theta, which is 1 divided by 1 over cosine theta. So 1, the bar reciprocal of the second term, times cosine theta over 1. So that's why it's, it's cosine theta. So 1 fourth integral of cosine is sine theta plus C. So again, referring to referring to the triangle again, sine theta is equal to um, the square root of x squared minus 4 all over x. So opposite side over the hypotenuse. So plugging it in, so 1 fourth times the square root of x squared minus 4 all over x plus c. So the final answer would be square root of x squared minus 4 all over 4x plus c. All right, so questions or clarifications for the fifth example. Okay, so no questions. So we proceed with the last example, and this one is pr quite um, tricky, but you can still solve this one even though that it's a complicated um, expression. Okay, so we have the integral of dx all over x squared plus 1 to the power of 3 halves. So again, despite having this exponent, so just try to recreate this one in terms of radical expression. So again, the denominator is the index of the radical expression. This one is the exponent, right? Okay, so this means that it is just equal to um, the square root of x squared plus 1 and then cube, di ba? So we can rewrite this one in terms of this manner. Okay, para atong ma-identify nga, muna siya ato ang term. It's a squared plus uh, a squared plus u squared, di ba? So the purpose of the 3 here would be dealt on, will be dealt with later. But as of now, just try to ignore 3. Basta just focus on the given expression inside. So magawasan na siya ang 3 later once we were able to uh, figure out the rest of the substitution parts. Okay, so again, this one is a squared plus u squared. Then this is um, u equals a tangent theta. So a squared is 1, a is equal to 1, u squared is equal to x squared. And then u is equal to x. So utilize the formula. So the answer would be x equals tangent theta. So getting the derivative, dx is equal to second squared theta d theta. So next step is to again Use the formula and isolate the triangle function. So this is x over 1. And with the triangle that is illustrated, this would be 
opposite over adjacent side. Towa, di ba? X squared plus 1. So again, we try to pair the radical expression and the constant. So again, second squared, tangent squared. So tangent po diri. So I'm going to have it as second, di ba? Second theta is equal to square root of x squared plus 1. So I don't need to write 1 na because divided by 1 is still the same, di ba? Magpuno-puno lang ko glint sa ako ang um, computation. Okay, so dx is second squared theta, d theta, divided by, so notice that ang kanisya, ako na siya ma-replace, di ba? With second theta, so this becomes second theta cube, di ba? So squared, and then what is left is just one second. Yeah, simplified further into cosine. So, mas nindali akong kinabuhi, di ba? So, sine theta plus C. So, sine theta is equal to x all over the square root of x squared plus 1. So this would give us the value of x all over the square root of x squared plus 1 plus c. So again, since the radical expression is in the, in the denominator, so try to rationalize it. Thus, the final answer being x squared plus 1 all over x squared plus 1 plus C. So this would be the final answer. Alright, so any questions for the last example? Okay, so having none, so I think that would be it for this meeting and then see you all again next uh, Tuesday for our third advanced technique and then on Thursday would be the last advanced technique before your midterm exam.